among the forces of delivery is the force of fearful praise say with me fearful praise the force of fearful praise now in matthew 21 we saw the picture of jesus responding to the fearful praise of men welcome to apostle tv the message you're about to watch will definitely transform your life be blessed as you watch your inheritance in the kingdom more often than not requires some degree of desperation enough is enough hear me now or forget it jesus i know you got it in your hand you're not going to prepare for it already fully paid for give it to me today or never more often than not every of our delivery demands some degree of desperation now let me tell you i got here from tuberculosis i got up in the night and i saw that all the students have removed their beds from me so i was like a leper and had consumed matthew mark luke and john i came out of that hostel room and i stood on a rock behind the hostel and i said jesus if it is true that you did all that is recorded in matthew mark luke and john heal me now or as if i will slap you <laughs> you know he said Mab, you know <laughs> He rooted it out same day. It takes some degree of desperation. Matthew 11 and verse 12. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of God suffers violence and only the violent take it in by force. You are too comfortable with that situation. That's why it's there. Anything you treat well stays on. If you're a guest in the house and you are properly treated, you may not go on time. <laughs> Every sickness is a stranger. He came on a visit to find out whether your place is comfortable or not. No! Enough! I remember after we got married and I went on a mission and my wife said to me when I came back that she had miscarriage. I said, no, it cannot happen. You need some sharp reaction. She said, you are too comfortable. Some are too comfortable with being greeted. Pele, Pele, are you okay? Okay, I'll come back again tomorrow. I know you'll see me there. And then you won't be telling them, I've not seen him now for two days. Eh? <laughs> you are just enjoying it. And you are facilitating the thing to stay on. Somebody saying no right there. No, sir. No, sir. All this backache, waist pain, stomach trouble, cancer. The sharper your know, the quicker it leaves. The sharper you know, the quicker it leaves. The sharper you know, the quicker it leaves. No! Pratike to seria yeta, no! I was challenged at a point and doctor said, Oh, your blood pressure is mine. I said, not mine. Give it back straight. The violent take it by force. Particularly regarding your healing and health heritage. If you are not a reactor, you remain a victim. There must be a reaction. This thing has been paid for. Why should get men be stopping you from taking it? You have paid for your item in the store. It is your legal right to take it home. Your receipt is in your hand. And the man at the counter said, you can't go. Ah, what? I'll slap you. He said, I'm sorry, I'm I'll just play. He said, I will slap you. He takes off his hand. Glory to God. Say with me, sharp reaction. These robbers have come to rob you of your rights. What do you do? Reaction. You know, they say, when you respond to an armed robber, if he's dead, say, who is that? It appears a lion in three times. It appears a lion in three But when you say, who is that? How do you know, my friend? Because you are not sharp enough. 
I stood in the midst of five weighed demon looking robbers in the motel when they came to attack us years ago. And I looked at them, and my hands were on my waist. In the name of Jesus, <laughs> you have to. The sound is enough. Sound. It's time to sound away that sickness yes. in your body. Sound. You are 120 years and then uh, you are sent up for what? You are just 30 years old, you are sent up. They say long, long side, short side. Where did you come from? <laughs> but because you enjoy it, you are, you are just comfortable. You see, I, I have. Uh, short sight um, uh, it's not really a problem so I want to say it was dead somebody will live for 120 years he has problem at 30 what will he have at uh, 70 body <laughs> but somebody is free today <laughs> that my daughter was waiting for marriage said answer me now or never no, okay, so I'm not coming back again. Answer me now or never. God said, please make it no verse. I've answered you. You got on key. That's the key to your deliverance. Sharp reaction. I decree grace for spiritual reaction against everything contending with your heritage. You must be free today. It's not only your heritage, it has been fully signed and sealed, awaiting your forceful delivery, awaiting a forceful delivery. This has been signed because it's been paid for. It's been sealed. That covenant is settled in heaven forever. My job now is to enforce the delivery. The lawyers will say, sign, sealed, and delivered. That delivery process, the delivery stage is the key. If this must be delivered today, the day my sin was paid for, was the day my sickness was paid for. So if I'm free from sin, I must be free from all the consequences of sin, which includes sickness. So I'm walking free today. Divine health is not just an issue of luck. It responds to your access to light. I'm walking in that light by all the forces of the spirit enumerated in scriptures. I must be free today. It has been signed and sealed. It is my duty to enforce a delivery. It's my duty to enforce a delivery. And it must be delivered today. Let me hear your loudest. Amen. Among the forces of delivery, is the force of fearful praise. Say with me, fearful praise. The force of fearful praise. Now, in Matthew 21, we saw the picture of Jesus responding to the fearful praise of men. The people were throwing their guns on the road. Cutting palm fronds and casting on the road for the ass to ride upon. Exclaiming, Hosanna in the highest. And Jesus, in response to their violent praise, reacted violently to the defilement of the temple. And we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. He made some calls. He invaded the temple and flogged out everything that buys and sells. And said, my house shall be a house of prayer. How have thieves come to settle down here? Every sickness is a thief. Yes, sir. It came to steal your right in Christ. Every disease is a thief. Jesus responded to their violent praise with a violent reaction. To everything molesting their body. And the blind and the lame came to him in the temple and he healed them. That is a clean interpretation of the cleansing of the temple. Hallelujah. Matthew 21, verse 10. As you praise him today, 
everything buying and selling in your life everything buying and selling in your life blood diseases hypertension high blood pressure low blood pressure whatever is molesting this temple that temple of the holy ghost yes. everything that making you less than human yes whatever is humiliating your inheritance of total health and vitality in christ as you get into wide praises today they are cleared off your life like i said at the breakthrough service expect sudden turnaround today that you'll be talking about the remaining days of your life because suddenly something will turn in your life as this world is going forth now every stranger that is humiliating your health humiliating your body they are hearing now jesus was casting out evil spirits with his word as the world is going forth everything molesting your system is getting out somebody is carrying a growth in his body right now that growth is vanishing by the power of his word hallelujah come and say i'm free say loud i'm free fearful praise silences our enemies out of the mouth of babes and sucklings as thou ordained strength because of thy enemies that thou mightest avenge silence the enemy and the avenger psalm chapter 8 and verse 2 out of the mouth of babes and sucklings as thou ordain strength because of thy enemy that thou mightest steal or silence the enemies and the avenger you remember jesus went about doing good and healing all them that were oppressed of the devil most of the things we carry as challenge to our head they have demonic roots they have what they have demonic roots but all those forces from hell will be silenced now people that are reacting to our success reacting to our breakthroughs he said the wicked shall see it and gnash with their teeth so every time you are experiencing breakthrough you are being haunted yes, you are being what haunted. you are being haunted the wicked is haunting for your life he's haunting to bring you down he's offended that you are going forward now if you look at that chapter uh, some eight and verse two and you go and put it together with matthew 21 and verse 16 the word ordained strength there was interpreted as perfect praise perfected praise praise at its highest glory to god praising in the highest the highest realm of praise you can operate in i told the man of basically as thou perfected praise high level praise acrobatic praise violent praise let me share this experience with you 1980 1979 was my first time of experiencing the revelation of matthew 21 and you know when i get anything i run with it so i set up the first hosanna night i saw jesus coming out with a kojek and flogging out everything humiliating us and i said give god the greatest dance of your life and watch him decorate you and beautify you that's all i knew we dance like nobody's business no guitar no nothing that god was happy <laughs> amen i'd like to give jesus that kind of dance today don't look at anybody if your coat is disturbing you remove it <sighs> remove it's better to remove your coat than to keep that sickness is it not better? It's better. In case you are, you know, daughter of Abraham here yeah, and your heel is so high, they, you can't dance it down with that high heel. You remove it and use your shoe to dance. You now, what is shoe? It's better to dance barefooted yes, and live in hell yes, than to be wearing shoes that won't let you dance. And then you start moving like this. The demon said, carry on. That's better for you. You're a high society woman. 
Amen. Well, somebody's breaking for today in the name of Jesus. Many will get up from here today and just discover that the signs, the symptoms are no longer there. A woman danced and danced and danced. And look up at the forehead of the baby at the old church in Rajoba and the growth had disappeared. The surgery was a 50-50 chance or 75-25, I can't remember, that the chance to survive the surgery was not there. So she came to bring him to the great physician and dance the surgeon's operation in. As she was dancing, the master surgeon came and said, enough. Mm. Uprooted the growth from the forehead. Forehead. She was right in front. There are things that came with you today. They will be uprooted in this service. Amen. This master surgeon has an invisible knife. Yes, sir. And has invisible stitches. You can't see it. He used that one on Adam. Open the flesh, remove the rib, close it. No recuperation system. Just Adam could not see anything. And the rib removed has no effect. Abba. Abba. Whatever must be uprooted from your life today to decorate your life in health and vitality, I declare them removed in the name of Jesus. Say with me, God is no respecter of persons. The moment any man gets on key that the other person is operating from, you will share the same testimony. Can I take it for 61 years at a point in his ministry? He said, stated it for 61 years, he never knew how headache felt. That was a vegetable that was about to die. He never knew that is Jesus rooted it out and has no more room to come back there. We are coming free today. Say with me with confidence, I'm coming out free today. I'm coming out free finally. I'm taking full delivery of my total health heritage from Jesus today. Hallelujah. Well, let's understand that this must come to a personal level because it's your personal faith that guarantees your personal victory. In the same way, it is your personal praise that enforces the delivery of your personal heritage. It is personal. There is nothing public here. Amen. Personal. Your personal faith is required for your personal victory. In the same way, your personal praise is required for your the delivery of your personal total health heritage i must dance my way to my portion today this is my day you believe that let me hear your loudest amen <laughs> david was a man of fearful praise the bible said he danced with all his might before the lord Second Samuel 6 14. With all his might, with all his might, it wasn't soft, you know, stop gap praise, entertaining praise. It was praise warfare. He danced with all his might before the Lord. And God blessed him with all his might from heaven. Ah. So your fearful praise is gateway to your fearful blessings. Today, you are returning home with the blessing of total health on your life. Somebody say, if Jesus tarries, 30 years we testify that on the 8th of January 2015, I was before the Lord and he rooted out the challenges of my health. And 30 years after, this is now 2045. I have not had to suffer any setback. Somebody's here that will testify exactly that way. 
that at 120, your sister will not know yes. the meaning of diminishing yes. return. Yes. That as your day, so shall your strength be. That will be determined by what you do with today's opportunity and take it once and for all. If I slept that night and felt sorry for myself and did not react, you may not ever have met me. Maybe that disease would have killed me. But I reacted that night. Now! Do it now! He said, No, I've done it. He did it. Somebody's here like that today. As you are dancing, you are enforcing through declarations your rights to total health. You are singing with your mouth and the word of God is in your hand to enforce your rights to total health. All my blessings in redemption were paid for the same day. I've taken delivery of three, four, or five of them. I must take this one today. I must take this one today. Everything was fully paid for. I must take delivery today. Violent praise, a requirement for assessing and taking delivery of your fearful blessings and redemption. We should also know that returns on every seed sown, including spiritual seeds, such as prayer, is released through the fruit of our lips. Every seed sown is entitled to returns in harvest. But these returns require the fruit of our lips to be made manifest. Chapter 12 of Proverbs and verse 14. The Bible says, A man shall be satisfied with good by the fruit of his mouth, and the recompense of a man's hand shall be rendered unto him through the fruit of his mouth. Through what? Now follow me carefully. Now in Proverbs 13 and verse 2, the Bible says, a man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressors shall eat violence. He won't get nothing. He will just be screaming for nothing. Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 20. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his leaves shall he be filled. Now, what is the fruit of of our mouth. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 15. Hebrews 13, 15. By him therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. The sacrifice of praise is the fruit of our lips that enforces returns on our seed sown. Glory to God. That is the simple interpretation of the fruit of our lips. So no matter what you sow with your hand, you will need the fruit of your leaf for guaranteed returns. And that is the sacrifice of praise. You haven't seen it, but you are persuaded it's there, and you are pressing it down. Come on now. That's the sacrifice of praise. You are praising it down. And you are digging it before the Lord. You are celebrating him. Everybody is still mocking you. The growth is still on your forehead. You are jobless. And they are hearing you are mocking you. Epa mi bolu waga. Epa mi beje suga. E kore yire. Epa mi bolu waga. They see you dancing and holding children materials in your hand. They call themselves, come and see one mad woman. He has started again. I don't know what they gave him there. You are singing your way to victory. Hallelujah. You are singing your way to triumph. Can I hear your loudest amen? Yeah. 
one which as one of us one day and said how far now she was waiting on the Lord for the floor of the woman and said God has done it immediately hell broke loose on her life my chest my chest my chest and died he wanted to hear we are still looking waiting on the Lord after this dark tell every devil my God has done it how about that your baby now God has done it how about that your job now God has done it eyes your head now God has done it you need this understanding to maximize this season I pray that your harvest of total hair will be delivered to you this hour. Yeah.